The Hebrew text in the Bible has hidden formats. By revealing these formats, I will prove the first writer's words were hidden from you. These formats look like poetry as I group them into small paragraphs. Their grouping will become known as a psalm, and together they become psalms. Let me show you our Creator's 12 commandments, listed in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Any father of a family or his wife who did not obey any one of these 12 commandments, our Creator demanded they bring him a sin offering. Thus, our Creator defined the word sin as not obeying any one of these 12 commandments. Next, I want to show you how I changed one word in Exodus 26, verse 26, the word bars to arches, and the words now reveal the style of the roof for our Creator's tent for meeting with Him. Let me show you the translator's words from the preface of the 1611 King James Bible. They gave four reasons for themselves or others to edit the Bible's words. The red arrow at the top points to their third reason to edit the text. By the light and feeling we attained unto ourselves. The next red arrow down points to them giving the title, the divine, to a clerk named Gregory. The next block of words, they point out they were happy that the first emperor of Rome established the year to the course of the sun. Behind this text means Nebuchadnezzar ordered his kingdom to follow our creator's calendar when he stopped eating grass. Did you notice the letter S in sun is capitalized? This is to give respect to the Egyptian sun god Ra. Have you seen the Egyptian obelisk in the Vatican's front yard? The last arrow points to your reward for studying the Bible. Your reward is to have a fellowship with the saints and participation of a heavenly nature that will never fade away. There is no such thing as nature to a truthful Christian. Our Creator created everything. By their own words, they were not seeking to know our Creator or Jesus. Not everyone has the knowledge to correct every word. I have an old Bible program that has the New American Standard Bible 1977 concordance to help find a better word. Their concordance has the number of times they use that English word in a parenthesis for that Hebrew word. The translators removed his name, YHVH, to put in two titles, Lord and God. I replaced those titles using the letters Y and V as his name. For the Hebrew language does not have a J, O, or W. By using these two letters, I am closer to the truth than anyone using J, O, or W for his name. So why is there a single letter O in the Hebrew text 1,095 times? No proper English was used. The blue highlighted text is text that I am removing. The red highlighted words are little words that I'm adding. Gray italic words are words that I added. To respect and honor our Creator, all capital letters in purple are our Creator's words. This is Jesus' prophecy, for I am revealing the first writer's words to tell you the true truths about Jesus. As the text is revealed, you can read taste the writer's style of wording. Their words will take your belief to trusting our Creator. You will be watching prophecy before your eyes as I added true truths back into their songs. Okay, this will be Daniel chapter 10. And what I, oops, I should have brought that up just for you to see. Um, this was the format that I'm finding, and that is a statement. And this connects with this verse. And that is the pattern. This will make a paragraph when you read it. And they had the words weak here. It's not true because we have other text that says that um, in the year of another King Cyrus, that in his fifth year, I think, or fourth year, the house of Jerusalem was completed. Now, that doesn't mean all of Jerusalem was completed, but this is the text that says it's supposed to be completed in seven, in 70 years to reestablish it as a city. So remember, it was burnt, 
and so it needed a lot of cleanup as well. And a lot of people, um, I think, still went back to their land first and then worked on that first um, and established their livelihood again. Um, and then Gabriel here, and I'm representing the text for angels, is um, green text. You can see red text as Jesus uh, and his descendants from uh, Israel. Um, then the all capital letters are words from our Creator. So then, um, I guess this should be red. Okay. Now, I need to start off with 10 here. And I've already got a warning unstable here. So it seems my bit rate isn't up high enough. So let me um, put my bit rate up a little bit. And I better make it three. And see, I put it at 38 to see if that's going to help. And if not, I don't know what's going on. But it's my attempt trying to find out many different settings here because I just can't afford a new computer right as of today. So I'm thinking maybe next month I will put myself in debt on a credit card. Still shows it unstable, but it should pretty much turn around at some time here. If not, it's still going to record it. So you might have to watch it later on Twitch here. And then I will repost this on YouTube. Um, but in the third year, this has to be four to correct that. And what I do is I say, this is how I edit it. I'm just changing this word from four to, or of to four. And Cyrus was a good king, so we have to uh, at least give his name and make it first person by saying our king. And this again has to be for, now it is Persia, okay? So here the text is now saying uh, Persia is the king for Persia and a message in the third year, which would be period for Cyrus our king, comma, for Persia. And I'm looking for a text that would go through with this. This we don't, that's just garbage. Um, in the third year for Cyrus our king for Persia, This instead of a message, it was a was a decree. Okay, that's what kings gave. So it wasn't his message. <laughs> Decreed ed. This is going to be in a past tense. For Persia. Decreed, so I can't put was here. I can get rid of the word was, get rid of the word. Decreed. Now this would be Daniel's uh, vision, not revealed to Dan. What was revealed to Daniel? And this you don't need. It was just a great conflict if it was. But he understood the message and had an understanding.
of the vision. No. In the third year of Cyrus our king for Persia decreed. Or he had his vision. Hmm. I don't know here. Because if it was revealed to Daniel, this would have to be had a vision. Right now, because it's the word message, I put as decree, but maybe that's not right. It was revealed to Daniel. A message was revealed to Daniel. That doesn't make any sense. The decree was revealed to Daniel. The version of decreed. Or it could be, well, his decree to us or for us. Well, let me just put this here. I'm testing the waters here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Was revealed, was given. Was given to Daniel. For us, was given to Daniel. Okay, so now... This and he didn't understand the message. If it's plainly written, he understood. They would have been understood by everybody uh, and had an understanding of the vision. Now this is saying. Now this is all talking about Cyrus having a uh, not a message but a dream. But I can't change this text here. I'm, I would be making it mine. I would rather, because in those days I, Daniel, had, okay. This is like a piece stuck within a piece stuck within. This is a piece. I'm going to get rid of all this because there's not much making sense here. We don't know what the message is, whether it's a vision or whatever. And he wouldn't, he would know it was true because it would have been prophecy if it's a vision. Uh, but it's one of great conflict, which that isn't uh, what would be happening in Babylon. Our creator made himself known. So, um, and Daniel is... Uh, like an advisor, personal advisor to the king. So uh, at that time, after he revealed his dream and then told him what his dream was and then interpreted it for him. So, okay. Bitrate seems to be okay now. Was given to Daniel. And... Let's see, he understood the message and he had an understanding of the vision. That just doesn't make any sense. Okay. In those days. Now, why would it be hit in those days? Because it would have to be... Um, these days in the third year. So this has to be wrong. It's just starting off wrong. I, Daniel, had been mourning for three entire weeks. Now here we don't understand why he would be in mourning. And they were never in mourning for three weeks. Okay. Um, at most one week or seven days. So, 
I did not eat any tasty food. I don't think that. I do not eat. I can get rid of this. Nor... Well, meat is food, so I did not eat. And I guess if I put that back. I did not eat any food. Nor meats. And then now that nor wine entered my mouth. Now that is a verse kind of going like comma and a period. So right there, it's not the format. Any ointment at all? Well, I did not use, and it would be any ointment at all. Now that's the problem. They never used any anointment. What they would, if they injured themselves, they would use honey to put on and then wrap it with herbs. Um, or another uh, green leaf item, maybe mashed up or whatever. Now, this is telling me that he had been fasting. Took me long enough to figure this out. I've been fasting. And I will say for one week. For. Yeah, one to go to seven days. One entire week. Okay, let's have him fasting because we don't know. It doesn't really matter exactly how many anyway. But I, 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 I had been fast. I, Daniel, had been fasting for one entire week. I did not eat any food nor meats. Now, Daniel... <laughs> we know was more of a vegetarian when he was up there in Babylon. So this would be out, nor wine. I did not eat any food or wine. And this is just wrong. But those two verses go together, and this one's just hanging out, and it's something. Now, this king might be come to Darius, because right now I don't have any word of Daniel being told to uh, return um, to um Jerusalem to rebuild it and he's going to be giving um let's see what can I say uh, there's going to be he's going to receive the utensils uh, that were taken to Babylon to be carried back he's going to be given money to start doing this and he's going to be appointed a governor um 
And that's because this name here is so close to the text that you find in uh, Ezra and uh, Zechariah about the returning and rebuilding of Jerusalem. Um, but I know that Cyrus is Persia, but Darius starts it. and Maybe it was in his third year, Darius our king. Uh, for Persia, this would have to. This would still have to be uh, Babylon, though. That is, if I've got the text right, or these things need to be really seriously looked at again, because you can see I've got a decree for us. And was given to Daniel. Now that's. I didn't really try to twist the words, but I'm trying to tell you here that it has to be Darius. Darius was the one that he was worried about dying in the lion's den, okay? Uh, so I'm thinking after the lion's den, he was convinced, no. But how was he convinced? That is, that's the story that's missing because whatever text they're telling you uh, 200 years later, like Ezra and Ruth, that you can't believe because actually Ruth does not have, I think it's Ruth. Maybe it's Esther has no hidden format, plain and simple. That's just written out text. Um, and Ruth doesn't really make any sense, I guess, as far as uh, of an importance, even of why to return because how there's no mentioning of the of the king actually experiencing anything that our creator made himself known to these kings right here these because Darius and Nebuchadnezzar he was known uh, Cyrus he he was from Persia which would have been next but he was told that go search the uh, the records for the kings to see if there was a decree in these guys. That's when he freaked out and said, man, I just learned about your creator. And yes, you guys stay away from down there and you guys start keep building it. And then you please ask your creator for my sons to exist as kings after me. So a lot of it isn't mentioned in the text, but that's what I'm saying is it all has to be there as an understanding of the importance of these two kings in Ezra and Zechariah. So, okay. I, Daniel, had been fasting for one entire week. I did not eat any food or wine. Did not eat any food or have... Or have wine. I guess I need, you got to drink it so you can't eat it. So I'm just, okay, you understand, I guess. Um, all right. I'm still seeing this. I don't know if you're seeing it stream or not. So if there's anybody watching, let me, um, let me post note. Offering. Now, what I've got here, and until the entire three weeks were completed, but I've got it up here and it's already there, so. That is not needed now. And then the 20 or the 4th of the first month. Now what does have this have to do with this? On the two tens, that's 20 
and fourth day of our first month, which would mean it's the summer solace is when they start. So it's now summertime here. And I can't start out on the 20 and fourth day of our first month. While I was by the bank. Whoops, I got a period, comma, period. Sorry about that. Now put a period of the great river. Now Tigris is the top river. Euphrates is the one that they're always referring to because David actually conquered all the people up to there and made them pay tribute. Um, so Babylon is kind of like centered. Let me... Um, It is what I want, but what I'm looking for here is and I want uh, maps. Okay, now let's we'll see. Map one, they're saying it's here. And this I'm not getting this here. How oh, come I'm oh I'm in Microsoft. Um Okay, that's a little bit better. See, you now there's two rivers. Where is Babylon? Uh, see, Babylon, the city. Okay, this map has them. See, this is now the this is Euphrates and this is the Tigris. Okay, and uh, you might not be able to see that. Hey, okay, now now you can see it. Babylon is by this river, Euphrates. Okay, now that means they were taken into captivity and they were all the way down over to here. So now that By the river, wouldn't be a great river, but by the river, boy, I'm going to have to get that out to spell Euphrates. Euphrates, I think it's P-H. Wow. Okay. Now that is stunning. <laughs> okay, Euphrates. Well, I was by the bank of the river Euphrates. 
because there there was other rivers there if you notice by the way um there was this other river here so and now we know what he's talking about which one Euphrates. Oops, it's got to be a comma. I lifted. Or I. I'd say raised up. My eyes, not my eyes, but my head. Period. And as, whoops, and as and as I was looking, okay, let me get the editing in here. Before I forget what I've done. It's got to be again here. I beheld. Not behold, but beheld. Um, as I was looking. Well, maybe it's all that can be taken out. This as we move. A male. Because this, there was a certain male. We already know because he was looking. Okay. And this has to be a male. Not a secular definition for the word used in, not in the text I'm editing. Dressed in linen. It's a belt. Now, Israelis had uh, were hides. So why would he be dressed in linens? Linens, even though that they had been trading with India uh, and since Solomon's time, they would have known about linens but dressed in linen. And here they have to put a belt. Um, I'm going to put the belt here with a rope. Well, that's not seem to be right, but it, he's got, it's going to be made of pure gold. I don't think so. Um, we know this is not needed. This I've added so far, so let me just put that in yellow. Rest in linen. And... If I use this word, get rid of these words, we know where the belt usually is at, and girded with a belt or a sash. When you're linen, it's more of a, a sash. Um, it's like a belt, but we think of a belt as something leather. 
So with I'm going to put with a rope. Um, so but I'm going to add it so it's going to be gray. And that's that's how I'm seeing this now. Now this is here. Now this is going to be describing him more. His body was like, is this bronze or glowing like hot metal? Let me see, like polished. Okay, let me. No, it's green. So that's not good. Why would he be growing green? Green eyes. His body was green. But he's dressed in linen. So if I get rid of this, his face like lightning, lightning is white. He's dressed in linen, he's white. I'm going to put whiter, okay, because that's, I guess that's the intent of these two here words here. Was whiter. And then this would not connect to this. Because we're still describing him eyes. Now flames of torch torches. Now this. Now we're starting to get to where his eyes were like. His eyes were orange. I'm trying to think of what the flaming torches, if you see flaming torches, they're yellow if they're, or it's a, depends on what you're burning, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, uh, his eyes were like, His eyes were like his arms and feet. Gleamed. Don't need the word polished. It wouldn't it understand. If you've ever seen bronze uh, you know when it's polished what we're talking about here now this is describing the colors but this just took a different thing his arms and feet gleamed bronze
his face and and is up here uh, damn it and I can't correct that I gotta spell it down here a p p e a r a n s appearance there's no backing up when I hit that macro so and his appearance His arms and feet gleam like bronze. His face and his appearance. And his appearance. His face and appearance. like is like his arms and feet gleamed bronze okay now that makes sense Okay, now out of that, I think I got two verses, okay? Now, I got to find another two. And there's not enough here to say what his voice sounded like. So... But this would be like this. And a tool moat is just a sound of like a wind ruffling the trees uh, leaves okay but that but you gotta understand it's just not tree leaves it has to be like palm leaves <laughs> because they would be louder um because they're bigger because what i would say is that this verse is missing then When he spoke, the sound of his words the sound of his words sounded On a lake and I don't think that's let's see what uh the secular world thinks about what tumult is yes yeah, to sort of turbulence. I don't like any of those words. Like from a horn. And that's the best I can do, but it's got to be like a horn. When he spake.
when he spake. That's all there by me. Okay. Now we got text missing here, definitely. Now I, Daniel, alone saw the vision while the men who were with me did not see the vision. Now, wait a second. Well, I was by the bank, not while we were by the bank. And he wouldn't say his name here, so it would be now I alone. So saw the vision. Okay, so vision. But you can see that I'm having trouble to find one more verse. Who were with me can be say, could be referred to as they. See the vision. No, I was... Well, it has to be we. If that's what I got to add to make that true, I got to make this true. Now, I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. The vision is missing, except for the description of them. I don't think they ran and hid. Now, I was alone. Now, this becomes different now. This means I have to get rid of the word we here. Back to I. Now I alone saw the vision. Okay, so let's see. If I get rid of this, and it's down here, I was alone. And so... I'm going to have to put a great vision. And now what he, why, why would he? Yet, why would he say there's no strength left in him? Um, well, 
Now, if he didn't have any strength, that would have meant he would have collapsed. My strength. Yet my strength left me. This would have to be four, not yet. A great vision and then his strength last one. Okay. Now, this no strength I've already got, so. This doesn't matter, I guess. As I heard his words, period. This, this, this is not needed. Because I'm looking for a second one here. As I heard his words, I fell into a sleep. with my face to the land. What the surface is, the way the Hebrews would know, and that's their definition of, of the word land. Underneath the land, there is ground. So he didn't fall to the ground, he fell to the land. My, I fell into a sleep with my face to the land. But this goes with this, because his strength left him. So now I've got those two. Okay. So I'm going to divide it here and find out what goes next here. Um, then Not a hand, it had to be his hand. Then his hand. Touched me. Now this is now not part of this because he's sleeping with his face to the land <laughs> and now when he touched him okay well maybe I got it wrong set me trembling on my hands and knees Well, I'm getting pieces, but I'm going to have to see how they get reordered because I'm, I'm thinking this is all jumbled up and some of these I'm not going to be needing.
he said. He said, Daniel, understand my words. What I am about to tell you. Okay. Now he stands straight up. Um. Or I have been sent to you this word to me I stood up trembling This, we've already got him doing so many different things. I don't think this is working here. What I've been sent to you... Do not be afraid. Now this is not, this has got to be a period or a comma. Right now I've got it a comma. Then I've got Daniel. Now this, from the first day that you set your heart, on understanding this. What the hell of all of a sudden we're talking about? Because remember, chapter 9 had Gabriel talking to him about what's going on. So this text is trying to tie this wording up to above text. On humbling yourself before our Creator, your words were heard come in response to your words. Now, does that mean all this text is going to go up here? I was confessing to the world, then a male Gabriel, whom I had seen in a vision before, came understanding the prophecy of the 70 years were commanded, for you are to know and will do the restoring of his house and rebuild Jerusalem. Now, I had to change the word discern to do. So Daniel here, I've made sure, well, I'm not made sure, but that's the only word that would make sense when he's telling about restoring and rebuilding. That's going to be him. So all of this that I'm doing is trying to Say something like it when it's got this. I'm in response to your words. Sorry, but that's what um, Gabriel did. But the Prince of Persia. Persia was withstanding, holding me back, 
for 21 days. Then behold Michael, one of the chief. This would be Angel. This can't be a person of Persia. For I had been left there with the kings of... Okay, now I know that the story has gone goofy. Okay, now this, this, I can't... That's just goofy. I have come to give you an understanding of what will happen. Now, Gabriel, I just showed you, already done this. To the people in later days. Now, that is already... Let me let me get the text that's cleaned up. Oops. Um, I closed it instead of keeping it open. Now this is what's going to be happening. Uh, from this is chapter nine. You are to know and you will do the restoring of his house and rebuild Jerusalem until Yvi your king uh, comes to Jerusalem and to his house. And his ending. Okay. Now that would be because he knows of Isaiah's words that he was reading. Isaiah has the vision of him uh, dying a horrible death. So this is pretty much their ending as when that when Jesus uh, is uh, to your people in later days, for the vision pertains to the days yet future. Yet when he has spoke to me according to his words, my face turned to the ground and I became speechless. Well, where the hell is he? What's what's he going to tell him about? Pertains to the days. He touched my lips. I don't care about that. Um, stand before me. Anguish come upon me. I had no strength. We already learned some of that. How oh, does such a servant Lord talk to such a my Lord and remains no strength in me? Uh, this is um, then one with human appearance again touched me and strengthened me. Um, then the man I esteemed. Do not be afraid. Peace be with you. And courage. I'm looking for the story of what he's telling, going to tell him about the end days. He spoke to reserve strength. He's just losing and gaining strength here all the time. <laughs> then he said, "Do you understand why I came to you? But I will. But I will now return to fight against the prince of Persia. For I am going forth, and behold, the prince from Greece is about to come." Whenever I tell you what is inscribed in the writing of truth, yet there is no one who stands firmly with me against. No, but I'm seeing this is Rome. About to come. They don't come for years. These are a three-verse format, as you can see. So where are they connecting? The days yet coming. Okay, since I got this far, let me grab this text. Oops, did I go past it? 
Yeah. This is two. Let me just see what I've got here. Because I know there's a bunch of pieces to this. But I might be able to get it cleaned up. And it might make sense. Okay, and this is what I said was it like a piece when I started. This is something here. This might be a start of a of vision. Now this might be not here. So let me just mark that as yellow is suspicious. And this I didn't have any more text to. So get rid of that. Because now he's got to be in the vision is what the, these words are saying. And then he's in this vision. I'm about to tell you this I gotta remove your people in later days for or that would have to be this vision. Things yet coming. How you doing real good? I just seen your post, so uh, thanks for watching. What can I answer or what can I do for you? Because right now I'm trying to show you that there's hidden formats in the Bible. And uh, this is what I'm showing comes out from the text as a sentence. And then these two make a the, the statement for that sentence. And then it's like a small paragraph and two small paragraphs together. And then they repeat. That pattern repeats those two connect together and then I got a missing one here because I've got these two connecting and those two connecting so I got more work to do but that's the text that I'm looking for here in um, this uh, in Daniel itself so what I was doing right now is I'm trying to clean up what I just did in 10 to make sense of it, and it's my my head's buckled. So, you want to ask me something, go right ahead. So, um, I'm going forth, and behold, the prince of Greece 
It's about to come. Since I'm doing excellent on the stream, so I don't know, understand why you're not putting a comment down, but um, I know that on my screen I've got an error and I can't see my stream coming back to me here. So, uh, salutations. Okay. Radio Damien. Oh, Damien. Sorry, I'm not very good at pronouncing the names there. So, but, um, I'm just working on Daniel today, uh, another chapter, and what I did was, in my editing today, for Daniel 10, I'm looking for a three-verse format, and I go through and explain what I'm doing, and this is the text that made sense. <laughs> Okay, and they make they make a, the format that I was just showing you, but there's so many different pieces in here that the most important part is right down here at the end, where it's talking about Rome is going to be the third or the next kingdom after Persia. So I'm trying to figure out is this text. Because this doesn't make sense. I'm going forth or I'm leaving uh, because the prince from Greece is about to come. So that's, I'm having a hard time figuring that out. Now I will return and fight against the prince of Persia. Where I'm going forth. For the prince of Greece, or the king of from Greece, he is about to come. But Daniel wouldn't know this at this time. And I'm thinking that there's not enough here in the text to make sense. So let me get back to looking at the, what is being said here. This is to happen in later days that yet come. Then he said, do you understand why I came to you? But I will return to... Hey, this here is... In later days, for the vision pertains, days yet to come. See, this is so jumbled up. And then this was the next part of the format here. However, I will tell you, period, what is inscribed in the writing of truth. Well, okay, here's 10. And this does not make any sense because that just ends. Because in the third year of this king, it is, is actually Persia, which means this king is the one who sent Daniel to return to Jerusalem and rebuild it. So he's the king from Babylon. And he only lived a couple years. So then it was, the kingdom was passed on to Persia. So this king, we know, turned around and had uh, told, and this is in, uh, coming from Ezra and Zephanias, Zep Zephaniah, those two prophets. Or Ezra was a scribe. And Zephaniah was a prophet because he prophesied they're coming down from um, uh, Babylon. So 
the thing here is is I was given to and was given to Daniel. But see, this would be if I've got it right, this means these two are wrong, and these two are need added. Decreed for us. It, it was the word message here. So the message decreed because that's what it came and was given to Daniel. And then this would have been the decree that is missing of sending Daniel. So that's important to keep. This, uh, 30 years, 30 years. Um, well, there is so much to know. Here's the 12 commandments. When you study Exodus 20 verses 1 through 17, there are 12 of them. If you are, if you did a little bit of studying like I have, you would have uh, counted all the planks or boards that he made this house up in Exodus 26. But I didn't know where these boards went until I changed this word, and now you see what the hip, it was a hip roof that was up on his tent for meeting. So when you see the um, tent in Google Pictures, you'll see like it has a double siding. Well, that's because nobody else had figured out that the word bars need to be changed back to arches. So that's what's going on there. Just to show you that, yes, I, and then if you read the 1611 preface, um, I know most people don't read that, but right here, they called the great clerk, Gregory the Divine with a capital D. And then here, um, It changes it to, to truthful words of Jesus, okay? For example, um, here, I, I guess when it comes down to, there's no hidden format per se of a format like this in um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Our Creator has His hidden formats in Matthew, Luke, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And that does have, I'm just trying to find the book here so I can bring it up because I didn't. Um, okay. I need to do this for a second because I need to open that up. Oops, that is the one I need. I have. 